Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Heavyweight Luis King Kong Ortiz is such a threat, he's resorted to call now UFC heavyweight champions, people. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working now. Real deal. Heavyweight Cuban, Luis Cuba. Luis King Kong Ortiz will be fighting on the Mikey Garcia versus Robert Easter Jr. Card. I made a video about this telling you he would be on the card. Of, at first, he was supposed to fight Tom Hanks' son or somebody, Joe Hanks, but it was announced that that opponent fell through for whatever reason. Now, Luis Ortiz will fight Razvan Kojanu, who fought Joseph Parker before Parker lost his belt to Anthony Joshua. And to, for, for just a reference point, in case you guys didn't watch that joseph parker didn't look particularly good in that fight and it went the distance and kojanu made it just awkward an awkward fight where joseph parker wasn't able to look stellar in that particular fight so i'm anxious coming off a loss i want to see what luis ortiz has if he's mentally the same if he looks the same if he's getting hurt easier or if he's getting knocked down or if he looks like he never left so this should be a good um gauge type of opponent obviously it's not a big name speaking of a big name listen luis king kong ortiz just called out daniel cormier heavyweight dual champion in two divisions who just knocked out stipe miocic that's what it's come to for this man luis king kong ortiz he's not getting any younger and he's calling out the heavyweight UFC champion of the world because he can't get no work in boxing because top names minus Deontay Wilder have all avoided him. Guys with momentum, guys with belts, guys with high rankings or positionings or things to lose, momentum or, you know, if you lose to Luis Ortiz, that would definitely be a step back in your career if you're encroaching a title shot, right? And all these guys have avoided Luis Ortiz like the plague like he has cooties and now he's calling out UFC superstars and stars you know Daniel Cormier look real good I'm not gonna spend too much time on that I know you guys seen that in the title but I don't think it's gonna happen that's why why on earth would Dana White make that if he's gonna make some kind of crazy circus fight he's gonna probably make it with Brock Lesnar who has also had issues with uh drug test fails just like Luis Ortiz but he's going to do somebody who's already integrated into the UFC platform and the UFC history or whatever. So I, I don't see it happening. I don't see why Dana White just had his other like top guy who was doing good, Conor McGregor, take a setback to a boxer. I really couldn't see why they would put Cormier in there. And again, I like Cormier a lot. Good dude, um, family man, did his damn thing versus Stipe. I was very happy for him. But if it's a boxing only match, then it doesn't really make sense for them to put. He's a dual champion and Luis Ortiz isn't even the biggest name in boxing. So why would they do some kind of crossover fight? At least Mayweather was the biggest star in boxing. Conor McGregor is the biggest star in the UFC. They collaborated and made mega millions together and generated a shit ton of money. But that wouldn't make sense for the UFC to put Daniel Cormier in a boxing only match against a guy like Luis Ortiz who has every bit of danger but again his his brand for obvious reasons because he doesn't get promoted the same or whatever um is not he does not have the high profile name and stuff to the point where I could see that making so the only other option would be is if Luis Ortiz went into the UFC and he didn't say anything about that he didn't say I'm gonna I'll go into the cage to fight Daniel Cormier so again I'm not gonna spend too much time talking but that's what it's come to Luis Ortiz has to call out fucking UFC fighters because he can't get no work. Luis King Kong Ortiz, keep in mind, recently, him and his team did interviews, called out Tyson Fury. I ain't, he I ain't heard nothing from Tyson Fury responding to that. Yet, Tyson Fury is weighed in on Anthony Joshua not fighting Wilder. He says he'll fight Wilder. And 
Let's make the fight. But I haven't heard him respond to Luis Ortiz. Joseph Parker and Dillian White. Dillian White was ordered to fight Luis Ortiz. Dillian White took more of a money fight. Still a, a solid fight. But I, I really would like to see Dillian White versus Luis King Kong Ortiz. And actually, me personally, just my personal taste, I would prefer that over Joseph Parker. So both guys are coming off of a loss. But to me, what Luis Ortiz did there with Deontay Wilder and all that power, he had uh, held a better account. It was like it was like a tooth and nail type of fight, seesaw battle. Joseph Parker did solid versus Anthony Joshua, but neither one of them, to me, looked super sharp. Luis Ortiz looked sharp as shit in those early goings with Deontay Wilder. It was just Wilder's power is just freakish, you know? So I didn't, I'd never understood that move from Eddie Hearn and Dillian White. Dillian White keeps calling out uh, Deontay Wilder. And this, with the WBC order, the Luis Ortiz fight, I understand it, it, it's not going to probably be the same money that you'll get with Joseph Parker. But I think that gets you in line with a mandatory slot. So Wilder, at some point, will have no, no choice but to fight you. But then they pulled out of the Kubrat Pullet fight when another promoter won the purse bid, right? Gerald Miller just did the same thing because I guess nobody's trying to fight Kubrat Pullet in Bulgaria. And then now Dillian White's fighting Joseph Parker, right? Meanwhile, Luis Ortiz, listen, I'm not, I, I personally am not going to complain. Luis Ortiz can fight whoever the fuck he wants until I see people outside of Deontay Wilder step up and fight this man guys with something to lose like there's a lot of quality heavyweights so once I see them guys with momentum guys who are moving up the ladder fast like Joe Joyce he's called out um Brian Jennings and I think Gerald Miller so let's see him in there with Luis Ortiz let's see Dillian White Luis Ortiz Joseph Parker Luis Ortiz Tyson Fury respond to the call out Anthony Joshua take him right Povetkin take him so until that happens, I don't care who he fights. Luis Ortiz has that get out of jail free card as far as I'm concerned. Until I see guys stepping up to fight him. Until then, he can fight whoever he wants. He can fight Jack Nicholson. Wait till he ain't getting alone on me. <laughs> he can fight Captain Crunch, whoever the fuck he wants. Because I don't see people having the same energy when Luis Ortiz's name is uttered. I don't see people calling him out like tony bellew he's a he's a great fighter i like tony bellew also i have not once heard him he called luis ortiz said he needs to be banned for life but i haven't heard anything about yeah luis ortiz he could get that work but he's entertained fighting a bigger taller tyson fury he told you he's not fighting deontay wilder david hay before he retired you know i haven't heard any of these guys calling him out so until that happens i think luis ortiz is in some kind of safe safe ground until we see people really stepping up and right now his profile and the danger is not making enough sense for guys outside of Deontay Wilder again I'm talking about not Tony Thompson's or Raz Kojanu because those guys are still in the in a category where they're not really uh revered right now like their names aren't big it's a Dave Allen their names aren't like too big to the point where they have much to lose they're just looking for opportunities and stuff i'm talking about the guys that are getting high praise guys who are rapidly climbing up ladders you know anybody daniel dubois joe joyce any of those type of guys joseph parker guy a former champion dillian white someone who's getting close to probably getting a title shot here soon champions not outside of wilder anybody like that so till then um, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear people complain. Oh, he's fighting Joseph Parker's leftover. Okay, he could have fought Joseph Parker, but Parker went in a different direction and is fighting um, against Dillian White. So, like I said, until I see guys put in more effort to fight this man, then this is what it's going to be. But you can't have people in your division kind of ducking you and you still be the boogeyman. And if anything, it should be a lot of people stepping up because you know Wilder has freakish power. So, that's what people know they know wilder has freakish power for the division so if they don't feel that they're hitting as hard and they seen how tough the fight was with wilder it wasn't like wilder was making these crazy mistakes it's just that luis ortiz is that good and that skilled so it made for a difficult fight and he's a southpaw and he has power in both hands people forget it he's a southpaw but he hurt wilder what set up that sequence in the seventh round was the right hand you know 
and they like i said people know wilder has julian jackson level cracks and he still had some issue and got it done had to hold it together so people are probably looking at luis ortiz like fuck that there's not enough vulnerability shown there's not enough reward but you will get reward people act like if you don't fight these boogeymen, the Errol Spences and Rigondeaux at a point in time and Luis Ortiz, that there won't be a reward, but there will because boxing fans will respect you. I didn't hear one person say that Wilder's stock dropped versus fighting Luis Ortiz, right? Not one person. All the motherfuckers make all these excuses. Oh, Luis Ortiz, he's 48 years old. He's 90 years old. Oh, they say all this, but I haven't heard one person who was respected in the game that said i i don't i don't rate wilder i i rated him before but now that he fought luis ortiz i don't rate him you know what i'm saying Be before taking on luis ortiz not that the fight was tough or anything like that i don't know if if you guys get what i'm saying so bottom line is we know what it is luis ortiz is still until otherwise proven he's still a certified threat and these guys know it that's why he has to fight razvan kojanu which it looks like back to the type of guys he was fighting before wilder gave him a shot wilder didn't have he wasn't even like ranked number one mandatory that was wilder's mandatory was stavern rematch and wilder still was trying to pay money to get the guy that was the boogeyman you got to give wilder props for that he was trying to fight the guy that was the boogeyman and pay a guy that he had already beat to step aside and then through obviously the drug test fiasco with the high blood pressure hypertension shit it didn't work out for last november but he still came back and fought him he could have easily took that as a back door and be like man i don't i don't fight cheaters look at ronda rousey ronda rousey chris cyborg had that thing in the past with the i think the gina carano fight or one of her fights with the failed drug test ronda rousey forever used that as an excuse to never fight her she was like oh she's a man and she's on drugs and peds and stuff like that wilder went straight to the fire so until i see these other fighters who haven't fought luis ortiz who have something to lose go towards the fire then luis ortiz could fight whoever he wants let me know what you guys think drop your thoughts in the comment section make sure you smash the like button as always hate comment and subscribe to like videos ego sign off so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing